Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to cut down the signature and I already had this made so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. It is one of those placemats and it's ink and it is sewn all the way around the edges and then at the bottom. So I already had this one made up and so I'm just going to use it. But see all the pages are different sizes and I probably do this weird um they're all different so I take a couple of the pages and then I end with one that will go on top because I always have two together I know I do it weird but everybody does everything their own way And then I look to make sure it's, see that one ain't down all the way, so. Just make sure it's nice and snug in there. And then this page I put right to the edge to cut. The same even at the top, so. There we go. Now it's straight. So then I take this, lay it open. And then the one that's the last one I put here. And then take a few more. And I cut about three different times just make sure I get a nice cut because I don't have the hand strength to cut through this all at once the hand strength the arm strength whatever it is I don't have it and I even have one of those really good cutters but and that one's good so I take it lay it open on the other ones oops and then I put this one on top of these and this is the last one see how little short they get when they get to the center of the signature In some journals, I don't cut them down to the same size. Let them be different, you know. But on these folio journals, I want them the same. Well, I can't get that. That's straight. So that part's done. We'll see how much better that looks. So then I want to cut this down. 
So what I do is I take the top one of these, lay it here, and you want this one just a hair longer. Then I lay that there and estimate about how That's good. See, very good. See, now it all fits in there. <coughs> so, we will put this out of the way. to do throw those away and then on this one I want to I'm sorry I try to keep organized while I am crafting so that's what I'm doing now putting those little clamps back so I want to glue this Just a little bit on each side. And always make sure I wipe out. That way um, it doesn't balk up in the center because you don't want it to balk. And then it won't go right in the journal. See, that's... Better. So then I take my sewing machine. And I start on this side, and I do the zigzag... zigzag just on the three sides they found my scissors Bottom of this. So, you got that. And then I also need to take this. And do the same thing. Glue it right there. Just sew this on the three sides. Oh, gotta start over here. When I do the zigzag again.
Oh, that's gotta go up a little more. Ah, oh, lordy. Oh, that one's in. And I know that it's missing right there. But that just kind of adds character. So, not mad about it. So, now I've got to decide where I want these to go. So... I actually think I'm going to put them on this page because this page is kind of heavy duty. And see, what I do is I use either burlap or lace. And that's when I'm using burlap. It's really thick burlap, too. And cut it a little bigger than the page, so. And then I put one this way. And I just cut it a little bigger just to make sure it's long enough. So. Then I will take and... This one will go this way. And again, the um, zigzag stitch. So, Missy, I hope you're not watching this video. This, she doesn't like the sewing. And so that goes there. And then this one gets sewn on that way. So, kind of make sure it's in the center. about Sammy, my colleague. I don't know what happened, but um, she's getting better. So I just hope that keeps up to where she keeps improving. And so this is put a little straight line. So I'm using my art glitter glue or you can use your that um i don't even know what it's called can't remember you know for material but the art glitter glue holds it down long enough for me to sew it and you kind of push it over to make sure it's tight 
But yeah, she's improving. Um, I'm so happy about it. So let's sew this one. And I'll, hold on, I'll show you. And on this, I use the straight. One. I mean, you could sometimes I've used a zigzag on this, but but she is walking by herself. Um, her gaze isn't fixed like it was, so. I think she is getting some improvement from that stroke she had. And then I cut this off. And she's not as confused as she was. So, all good signs. So, oops, sorry. So we got that one done. Now this one. And like I said, I just glue it on and Let's try to get one of these edges pretty straight. I just try to get enough glue on there to get it glued so I can sew it. And see that edge is straight. So that's good. And like I said, I push and pull it up to have a snug fit, you know, snug, snuggish fit. So, then we sew this again, straight stitch. Sure, I'm done with the sewing machine. And I know it has. Hold on, let me cut this off straight. See, I'll need a little bit off the bottom too. And I know it has the sewing on the back, but I mean, you can always hide that with pockets or something. So, but that's why most of the time I do the straight stitch on that because if the straight stitch is easier to hide. And I don't know if y'all get tired of me cleaning as I'm crafting. 
But then this goes here. And so the signature is put together. And um, so this is ready to be sewn into the book. And this, usually I decorate the pages. I, I do it whatever the book dictates. Um, usually I try to decorate before I put them in the book. But on my folio journals, I always sew the signature in before I decorate it. So then that will let me know how much I can add. You know, the ephemera and stuff. Um... Because if I didn't sew it in before I decorated it, it'd just be chunky. So, here is... The journal. So, this will get sewn right into there. And so, tomorrow's video, we will sew all the ephemera. Um, and then the next day we will, um, sew the signature into the journal. But now the signature is cut down and ready. And thank you for watching and have a great day.